This was the agenda from Stephanie. Finding a venue, uh, we talked about it, didn't we? Yes. We can skip this. And by the way, Corey, that venue could just be your home. You could, if you have enough rooms. <laughs> um, finding musicians, well, that's uh, here in Berlin quite easy about uh, over this, um, this list I have. Um, well, you, that's different in every um, area. This is a beginning of a invita in <clears throat> invitation email I sent in German, so that um, those who are interested uh, mail me, mail to me. This was the um, uh, da -da -da. yes, the site reading Prima comment. Vista uh, story. Um, this is a little um, sentence I wrote for the, the wind players for it is it becomes difficult if there are only two or three wind players to combine them with the strings it is possible but uh, you have to to find the right pieces and so on what is next well i show you this <clears throat> from the um answers I get, the emails, I make a list. This is the beginning of a list uh, I have made uh, several times. And now I not, uh, do not have to uh, write all the names. Um, new. <clears throat> oh, my English. Uh, every time a new, but I put in uh, a one for those who are now uh, interested in and a zero for those who do write, did write me, no, I have no time this time, sorry. And there is no sign for uh, at those who did not um, <clears throat> answer. With the filter function, I can, uh, afterwards I can uh, crowd, you know, uh, can, can find all the ones. And then I have the list of those who will uh, participate this time. Besides this first list, I make an, another list where I have all the instruments and uh, every email I get um, <clears throat> with the information I play the oboe uh, makes me to uh, to put in one here for the oboe and the, the other one here is uh, the oboe uh, the bassoon player could play if we uh, would need two oboes he could bring his oboe. So I know <clears throat> afterwards there's one oboe player with his first instrument and another one who, uh, who has the oboe as a second instrument. Oda is um, oboe d'amore. Mm. So I can see afterwards there are 15 players with uh, three with uh, <clears throat> viola, uh, four with violin, um, and so on. Oh, yes, that's important to ask us yes. for money. Organizing. Of course. <laughs> Done. Finding repertoire. Well, we do it this way that uh, I ask the, peop the, the instrumentalists to, to uh, suggest what they want to play and to, um, to send me the exact instrumentation, what is needed. Often they they write, I want to play the Borodin Quintet. And then I can uh, think Borodin Quintet is that with two cellos or with two viol violas. Um, so please write the exact instrumentation. Mm -hmm. Important, do you have all the sheet music? Can you uh, bring it with you? And please bring it with you. Next one is my card game. Well, I told this, which pieces are strongly desired. Um, are there rare or special instruments? That means that um, if there's not a whole wind quintet, but maybe a flute and a horn and a clarinet, I 
try to find those pieces where a uh, uh, horn is engaged. And then we have to see, uh, to look which other instruments are needed. Um, so I first um, um, think about these pieces and the other ones like uh, string quartet or quintet uh, are afterwards easier to put together. Um, bass instruments and pianos are other um, uh, special uh, points. Um, from big to small means I first try to um, arrange all those <clears throat> uh, bigger ensembles, uh, octet, septet, and the uh, trios and duos are the left ones. Try to consider individual playing level. That's quite important, but therefore you have to know your players. Um, and new ones, well, that's uh, uh, it's a risiko. Is it a risk? It's yes. a risk. Yeah. Okay. This you did see. Um, a location of rooms. Is there a piano? So sufficient room size. Well, a wind quintet needs more size than a string quartet, uh, not only for its uh, one person more, but the, the uh, loudness is another one. Um, <clears throat> this was an example from last Saturday, uh, the three sessions with the uh, pieces. Farkas was a was a wish from the hornists. Um, quintet, there were several quintets. Gernsheim was a wish, uh, a desire from the violist who uh, did prepare it and wanted to play the second violin. Um, so the others were to, for, to find. Um, <clears throat> Beethoven caught it. Uh, the cellist wanted to play them they didn't, uh, they, they took some something else and so on. So, yeah, keeping everyone engaged um, was one of the points uh, Stephanie wrote down. I try to, to organize it that way that really everyone can play who wants to play. Well, who takes photos for the ACMP. <laughs> we forgot it several times. Who prepares the breaks. I, fin I find breaks are essential and a break should be long enough, at least half an hour, to come together, to talk to each other, to, um, to have some drink, to have something to eat. And then we mix up new and... Uh, and um, have other ensembles afterwards. I post who is who that looks like this so that everyone could uh, have a look. The bassoon player, ah, he's Daniel. Okay, I didn't remember the name and so on. Um, breaks 30 minutes, I said already. And promote promotional blog that is this at the end. <clears throat>